Hi, it's Jake Redman again for ModHop, this time en route to Hawaii in business class on a Delta Airlines Airbus 330-300. Today we're in row 5 in seats H and J in the last row of this cabin. Looking at the map, you can see we're directly in front of the lavatory, which could be a problem but wasn't a nuisance on this flight. Standard amenity kits are offered along with quilted duvets and full-size pillows. As of this review, these are still former Northwest Airlines World Business Class style seats which offer a less than generous 20 inches of width, but allow for a decent sized center console and plenty of arm space. Legroom is plentiful, as you would expect, with a full 60 inches to stretch out. The seat controls in the armrest take a little getting used to if you're not familiar with them. You may notice that when these seats are at full recline, you won't exactly be horizontal, which leaves you in an awkward position for sleeping. The seat houses US style standard 110 volt power ports, good for laptop power, and provide a good sized touchscreen entertainment system. The interface is a little less intuitive than some, but once you find your way, there are several movie and TV options to choose from, as well as gaming and flight map features. You'll also get noise-canceling headphones for use during the flight. Delta offers a unique twist to their Hawaii service, offering up a pre-flight Mai Tai and a special menu with selections from Chef Michelle Bernstein. We chose the grilled chicken for our first meal. This was followed by our rolling ice cream sundae bar. Flight attendants gave us our choice of toppings. You can see I chose to go simple. Our pre-arrival meal was a smoked turkey sandwich that resembled something you might get on a shorter haul domestic flight. Not bad though. In all, not the most comfortable seats for sleeping, but otherwise, not a bad way to get to Hawaii. For the full review and how we got these seats, visit modhop.com.